Hey and welcome to our tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this cool looking Superman logo in Microsoft PowerPoint. So the right one is an image, the left one is a logo created in Microsoft PowerPoint and as you can probably tell there are like dozens of different Superman logos. If I open this Gizmodo website there are like 25 logos over the 75 years. Seems like the S shape is always a little bit different, the colors are different as well. We will create this what I think is the most iconic logo today. So I will start with a blank presentation where I already have this logo pasted in. I will open the former ribbon and select colors, uh, this uh, light gray one, just so the logo is a little bit faded and we can clearly see our shapes which we will be drawing. And I will start by tracing the outer part which is kind of like a rectangle with uh, cut out edges. And that's mainly because that's the easy part. So I will insert shapes triangle and I will use this ISOS class triangle. I've probably clicked the wrong shape, so again, I will insert a new triangle and I will rotate it by 180 degrees by holding the shift key on my keyboard and rotating it like this. Then I want to probably increase the transparency a little bit just so I can see what's, what's below and I will try to kind of match the shape and I'm resizing it to both sides using the control key on my keyboard. And clearly you can see that the shape is actually not a triangle, it's a little bit distorted, you know, it's going outside of the triangle on the left side, so we'll try to at least kind of uh, match it as closely as we can using the true triangle shape. And when we draw the shape we should uh, keep in mind that when we add the outline, the outline will be drawn to both outside and inside, so it may be a good idea to actually draw the shape in between, you know, inside this uh, bold outline of the original logo. Ok, so I think that's fine. I will copy paste this shape one more time and rotate it by 100 and, sorry, and rotate it by 180 degrees like this and move it to the top so we will match the, you know, those skewed parts. I will probably move it more to the left side even when, you know, we'll get a little bit uh, not perfect symbol but it will be matching logo a little bit more. What I will do next is draw a, a, like a helper rectangle like this which I will merge with this triangle on top, so merge shapes union. And then I will select both shapes and select merge shapes intersect, so we will get the intersection. Again I have to increase the transparency a little bit and I will probably right click and select the set as default shape that will cause that all the newly drawn shapes will have this outline and fill properties. For the inner shape I can do the same or I can most likely copy paste this shape and try to resize it. So let's see if we can resize it and at the same time keep the same distance from the original one. So it seems like that we could do something like this but one of those sides will be off and that's the top side. We can quickly fix it by just drawing a new rectangle and subtracting it from the shape that will be probably easier then trying to draw this shape using three different shapes like previously. Then I will select the big one and the small one, select merge shapes, subtract and we have the outline which will be the base for our logo. So let's somehow try to trace the S letter. And just to make it easier we will probably trace the individual part. So we will not trace the S letter as a whole but we will trace the maybe the first half of a letter and the second half of a letter and then the hole in here. You know. The, less, the more shapes we have, the better flexibility we have as well. So I will insert a new shape using the freeform shape tool and I will start in here and draw a straight line down here. This should be straight on a straight line as well but here will be a curve so I will insert a maximum point around here. It should be kind of matching the top shape so it will be most likely around here. Here should be a curve, one more curve here and here will be a maximum point in here. I will probably leave the you know, the bottom part of the S letter for the next shape but I will insert a new point here which will be a curve, here will be a curve in here and this will be like the ending point so I can close this shape. It kind of looks weird until we will actually start adding the Bezier you know, L parts of it. So I will right click and select edit points and for most of those points I want the smooth point. So this should be a smooth point this is not a smooth point by a corner point but one of those handles should be facing up. This should be a smooth point with the handles being uh, aligned vertically. This will be a smooth point as well but the handles will be a little bit tilted to the right side. For this one the control point should be facing up. Same here, facing up. Here this will be a smooth point with the 
anchor points a little bit tilted and this will be a smooth point with the anchor points being aligned vertically and one more smooth point in here here they should be aligned horizontally okay let's so let's examine our shape a little bit i think i'm pretty satisfied with the result you know it kind of matches and this should be facing up kind of matching the curve while this one is touching the outline and everything is kind of around it we probably shouldn't care too much about the underlying shape but and, and you know focus more on the actual s shape of our own logo just because the outer part is not matching the original logo as well so instead of trying to move every single point around let's focus on the bottom part for which we will also insert a new freeform shape so insert a new freeform shape and i will start probably maybe in here this will be a smooth point this will be a smooth this will be a corner point smooth point smooth point one more here and just make sure that it's covering the out outside part so i will right click and select edit points this will be a corner point this should be a smooth point sorry i've ac accidentally moved the object around so this is a smooth point with the handles being aligned vertically this should be a smooth point with the handles being aligned horizontally same as here maybe those should be horizontally but a little bit off and this will be one more smooth point like so we have like this uh, circle or ellipse on the left side okay so this is the bottom part of the superman logo so the only missing part is this hole in the s on the top right corner so i will zoom in as much as i can and i will insert a new freeform shape and i will try to somehow trace it so i will just insert three different points but select edit shape uh, edit point sorry and make this left side a little bit curved following the shape of of this curve and this seems like to be curved a little bit as well not quite sure why it's being there but let's curve it as well okay so only missing part is merging all those shapes together so i will select format merge shapes union and then i will subtract this whole so merge shapes subtract we can move it to the side and see how it looks like for the original picture i will reset the colors and for this one i will sample the fill so shape fill i will use the eyedropper tool to sample the red color and also to sample the i probably don't need to sample the black color it's just the black color but i will need to increase the weight to maybe like six points and then i need the blue background and the yellow background below the shape and you know it may be a good idea it may have been a good idea to keep one of those shapes around just so i can reuse it for the background but i'm pretty sure i can quickly draw the shape you know one more time for the background so i'll draw a new triangle and you know just quickly try to match the shape just so i can use it for the yellow fill like this i will copy paste it rotate it by 180 degrees i will use one more helper rectangle merge those two shapes together then select merge shapes intersect for the fill color i will i sample the yellow one no outline sorry no outline i will send this to back and i probably could uh, create this uh, rounded rectangle shape as well so create a new rounded rectangle with much less rounded corners send this to back sample the fill color no outline and voila we have a nice looking superman logo created in microsoft powerpoint and that's it thanks for watching